we witnessed yesterday, these unprecedented scenes of this angry mob take over this city that we love so much. And then on top of it all today, when you think uh, nothing else can happen, we've got this earthquake. Uh, we just have to hope that uh, people's uh, property wasn't, uh, wasn't that badly damaged. And we also certainly have to hope that these protests don't kick off again. Uh, we're just looking down the road a bit down at Elizabeth Street. There looks to be another police gathering. I think, uh, again, what they're doing is it's almost like there's some little spot fires uh, of uh, people congregating and police very, very quickly swoop on those people uh, to make sure that they should be here. If not, they are arrested. And you'll see this intersection here. It has been completely shut off uh, by police. Uh, they are not uh, giving any opportunity for protesters to gather like they did yesterday. But as for the feeling on the street, uh, people are just tired, they are exhausted, they want to be out of this lockdown and they want to get life uh, just to return to normal. You both know what uh, nightlife is uh, down here, uh, like down here in Melbourne, and certainly uh, we want that to return. And Chris, you obviously have been feeling that earthquake in Melbourne, but it's pretty widespread. It's been felt in Geelong and Gippsland. It's also been felt up here in New South Wales, uh, in Sydney. We've got a, a guy who's felt it uh, in Rose Bay this morning. His name is Jack. Let's take a listen to, to what he felt just a short time ago. So about 10 minutes ago, there was a tremor. I'd say around 9.30 a.m. Uh, felt a tremor go through the house. It was strong enough that I felt it, lasted about five to 10 seconds, but uh, not strong enough to break anything. But yeah, it was definitely noticeable. So pretty widespread uh, tremors being felt right across uh, two, at least two states this morning. But it was a 5.8 or a six, mag six, six magnitude earthquake, I should say, felt at about 9.30 this morning. The epicenter in Mansfield, regional Victoria, but the, the the, the tremors are being felt right across a big, uh, a large area this morning. That is damage we're looking at this morning uh, on Chapel Street in South Yarra. It looks like it's a burger shop and the top uh, part of that uh, top story has just crumbled there onto the, onto the roadway. And there's going to be some further damage you'd have to expect if that's happened to one building, then it must have happened to plenty of others in and around that region and right across Melbourne this morning. We're yet to hear from anyone in Mansfield, of course, where this epicentre, uh, where the epicentre of this earthquake has been. Uh, we are trying to make contact with someone there as we speak. Uh, but this appears to be the worst damage that we have seen so far. We've heard reports of people in the northeastern suburbs of Melbourne um, experiencing smashed windows in their homes, people uh, in southeast in parts of Melbourne, feeling their home shake for up to 10 seconds as well. Um, as Lizzie confirmed, it's a 6.0 magnitude quirk, uh, quake, rather. Potentially the strongest that we have felt, I think, since about at least 1997, I'm seeing, so for several years. Uh, and as Christina Hearn, our reporter in Melbourne, was saying, it's certainly the, the strongest tremor she has experienced. Our Dockland studio uh, in Melbourne was evacuated for some time as well. We have Isabella Stashkoshki now. She is down, I think, on Chapel Street. Isa, where are you and what are you seeing? Good morning, guys. We're just off Chapel Street here, and this is what you can see. This wall has just absolutely collapsed. There are plenty of people here actually looking around to see some of this damage. We've had a number of officials here as well, a number of authorities, checking what is going on. This is all roped off. That's the main street of Chapel Street right there. This is really the heart of South Yarra, quite a busy area, a lot of restaurants and cafes this morning. That is all cordoned off, as you can see, in that number of sections here. We're out the front of Betty's Burgers. I'm joined now by Patrick. Patrick's a resident here. You felt the earthquake. Um, tell us what you felt. Yeah, it was uh, a bit dramatic. I felt the building rattle. So I grabbed my puppy and went underneath the doorway and just, uh, yeah, let it uh, unfold. Did you have any idea that it was an earthquake at the time? Or were you concerned? No, I actually thought it was um, as a result of the tunnel works that were happening near me. Um, but it soon, uh, yeah, unfolded that it was an earthquake. So I waited for the news. And you've come here to check it out. Can you describe what it looks like to us? I didn't expect this, to be honest. Um, but I can understand, like, the building's a little bit old, so if this is not double brick, perhaps, yeah, it would uh, collapse a little bit from the top. Yes, yeah, certainly right. And we're hearing reports that there are damaged buildings like this pretty much everywhere across Victoria. We've heard a lot of people out in the suburbs surrounding here. Are you hearing that as well from, you know, friends and family? Just I've, I've had a number of people calling me saying if I'm OK as well. 
Yeah, that's right. Um, it's been felt throughout the state, um, and hopefully it's not uh, too dramatic for everyone. Well, thanks so much for your time, Patrick. And guys, we'll just show you how many people are actually out here. Everyone is just coming out here to take photos. Oh, now they're stepping away. But they're coming out here to take photos and see the damage. This is really the one uh, building that's been seen on social media that's collapsed. And as you can see, that damage really is quite extensive. If you take a look at all these bricks out here as well, of course, we're getting more and more reports of similar incidents. This just happened quite recently. It was about 9.15. We're actually travelling in our crew car and it felt like the whole entire vehicle was shaking there as well. Um, uh, but yeah, obviously it's something that's really unfolding here in Victoria reports.